let's start. Today we wanna do a little bit different in terms of the content because we will be uh, we will discuss on the answering technique in details. So for SPM 2020 because 2021 we're gonna be new format. So this will only barely until SPM 2020. Okay, so uh, for the first uh, session, we will discuss on the formula needs. So what are the formula given in the SPM that we need to know and we need to uh, understand how to use it and when to use it. So uh, if you go through each uh, SPM, each year of the SPM and also the trial, MRSM trial, you will see that the formula is going to change every year, but it's not at, uh, change it in terms of significantly um, big or really, really obvious changes, but it's just a small changes that we don't really realize it uh, in if we not look it carefully. So it's not that really important that you need to know the changes, but at least you need to know the differences between formula list given in uh, paper one and also paper two. There are some of minor differences. So let's um, look at the formula list for SPMRSM, trial for MRSM, because this list also different from the SPM, but uh, it's also useful for you in order to answer the trial paper later. So here, the, uh, the physics formula usually on page two for both paper, paper one and paper two. So this is only paper two, yeah, because paper one, uh, apparently there are the same thing for SPMRSM. So the following information may be useful. The symbols have their usual meaning. So that means that what we taught you in the class, that is what it is mean here. So let's see number one, the formula for number one, V equal to S over T. So this is velocity equal to displacement over time. So basically this formula over here is not required to put in the formula list because this is the one that you need to memorize usually. But in this case, the MRSM put it as part of the information list. So that's okay, but in the SPM, the real SPM is not given. This is something that you need to know because uh, sometimes there are questions that ask about the definition of velocity. So you cannot uh, look at the formula list and then do the definition from there. You must memorize this formula. And then from this formula, we can do the, the, uh, the definition, which is the rate of displacement. So in this case, uh, the uh, seems like it given us the, uh, the formula for velocity. So that means there will no such thing as definition of velocity in this question paper. But number two is usually given for SPM and SPM or SM as well because based on the formula itself, we cannot actually derive the definition. So we know that the Definition for acceleration is actually the rate of change of velocity. So based on this formula, you might not know how to make it into definition. You might say that uh, final velocity minus initial velocity over time in the definition, which is wrong. So you need to know other ways to say the same thing as this one, which is if you have a minus sign, you have to include the word change because minus means final minus initial usually in physics if the formula has a minus sign that means it changes final minus initial so changes in velocity because v and u are both velocity time is a rate because over time means rate of change of velocity so this is formula for acceleration. Again, you don't need to memorize because it will be even. So number three is uh, another 
equation, linear motion equation that's quite uh, often used, v square equal to u square plus 2as. So in this case, for the first case here, this is um, the ordinary equation. We use this uh, equation to derive 3 and 4. But the first question doesn't have displacement in it. So make sure that if you read the question, the question doesn't give you uh, any information about displacement, but they have uh, information about other things such as B, U, E, and A, or you might need to find P given A, B, U, or other ways of combinations that doesn't have S, then you can use number two. But for number three here, this is uh, as well given in the STM and STM RSM, so you don't need to memorize. It doesn't have time. So if the question doesn't uh, include it, information about time then you can use number three again any combination of the question either you need to find v u a or s for number four we don't have v so this is also will be given in both stm rsm and stm okay let's move on to number five so basically number one to number four is about linear motion Number five is momentum. So the symbol for momentum is actually P equal to MV for the new syllabus. Yes, it's M form four. So it's given the small P equal to MV because big P is for pressure. Small P is for momentum. Mass time velocity. Again, you cannot use the formula itself to derive the definition for momentum. You can use other words that basically has the same meaning as the formula. So if you encounter multiplication, then you need to use the word product. So this is the momentum is product of mass and velocity of, movie, of, of a moving object. So you cannot say that momentum is um, mass times velocity that is Incorrect, you need to use the proper terms here in order to do the definition. Okay, so number six is F equal to MA, this is the Newton second law of motion. F is a vector quantity, A is also a vector quantity, same as momentum. Momentum is vector quantity, velocity is vector quantity, mass, uh, mass is a base quantity, and also automatically become scalar quantity because base quantity all are scalar quantity. Same as mass over here for F equal to MA. So this is uh, something that you don't need to memorize, but usually you just memorize it anyway because it's simple as uh, you see it very simple formula and very easy to use if you know uh, all the information given. In this case, the F over here must be net force or resultant force. Resultant force. Okay, make sure that if the question included friction and thrust force, you must do thrust force minus the friction first before you use this because the force needs to be net force all the force combined together so if there are opposite direction to each other then you need to deduct same as normal force and weight for the y-axis okay so equal to one half mv squared Mass V is the velocity. In this case, we just use the value of speed. Kinetic energy is a scalar quantity. V here must be scalar quantity as well. Scalar quantity to become scalar quantity. That means the derivation of the formula must be all scalar quantity. So, F is actually the quantity. Here can be either velocity or speed, but 
we don't actually care about it because it's to give us positive things anyway. So I think philosophy or spin in question is gonna always be positive, so we just say that its velocity is also fine. Yeah. So but actually the actual question is okay, we just need the magnitude. Okay, number is the gravitational potential Dp equal to Dp equal to mgh. Again, all must be scalar quantity. But G acceleration, right? Gravitational acceleration usually is uh, but we don't care about the direction, we just need the magnitude. So H is the height or displacement or must be magnitude only, doesn't need the negative sign. If there is a negative sign, then you need to remove the negative sign. Potential energy E E E E G E G E equal to one half F So F the force is the length of extension length of extension length of extension. So basically this is work done, kind of work done because of time displacement, right? F time one half here of the force keep changing when we stretching so the force is changing so it's not constant as we need the one half to make it great the force time length of extension these two over here probably will not be in the SPM 2021 the new syllabus because it's already learned this new you know, the new form but it might be come up uh, uh, or something that you need to know before you do something in physics KSSM, but we're not sure yet. We, we don't have the um for the new syllabus, but it, but we are gonna cover that later once we have the information needed. Uh, they already given us the but doesn't have any example or sample question. So, this over here, number nine here, we will learn in form five. New syllabus. Okay. Number ten, then C O equal to M O P. Usually, in the they don't give us the word density here, they just give us rho equal to M O P. So, that's fine because rho here doesn't have any meaning. But also that actually has the other meanings for electricity in terms of um in that case it is a resistivity but we don't have that formula for SPM we just give it to you guys to uh, uh, to ensure that you understand the factors of resistance not not will be used in SPM twenty twenty but will be used in SPM 2021. So the formula is actually useful for the new syllabus, but not as useful for SPM 2021. But it doesn't hurt you much because we're going to help you anyways in terms of the formula for that. R equal to L over A. So O is the resistivity and the length A is the A of Say force or area sometimes it's acceptable, but sometimes it's not. So to make sure that it's always acceptable that you always make an answer and you need to include the normal. 
can norma over air. Again, this will be in the syllabus ordinary in form 2. Asia equal to P P2 H rho G. This is another word rho G H S rho G. Another way just the same because multiplication can switch places and still get the same answer anyway. In this case, they give the uh, arrangement, but if but it's just I said it doesn't matter. It's still pressure, but this is called liquid pressure or pressure. Pressure in liquid. So what are the things here? Big P for pressure. K is for the depth of the liquid. Rho is the density of liquid. You can find rho based on the formula of G is the gravitational acceleration usually 10 for the old SPM format and 1 for the new SPM. Okay, will be given in both SPM and SPM. Number 13, Q equal to MC theta. So C here is actually specific heat capacity. Theta is the change in temperature and the max. So theta here for the new format, for the new SPM, the one is going to be like this. MC delta theta. This is more accurate representation of the formula because delta is delta is changes that to right. So again, from the formula of V minus Right, this term over here is changed to delta P over P is the same thing. But in new format, they still keep the notation as this. For V is the final, is the initial velocity. So you don't need to uh, get a headache in order to memorize either this. It's just a strange system. Here, again, MC theta is. And C delta theta is the new S so equal to ML. So ML here is still the same. They use the same symbol for so this L here is the less than heat space of vaporization. Make sure that you know which one to use at which time, at which condition, at which question. Okay, so this thing over here press one until nine is force motion from four or force motion one four from four gases m and number nine is force uh, force motion two from five and 11 probably will not be out anymore for the new syllabus there's only 12 here but actually if you see in the top not given this one is the pascal principle uh, one a1 equal to f a2 this is not given this is basically from the pascal principle stated that the Pressure transmitted in the liquid is transmitted equally. The pressure exerted on the liquid is transmitted equally at all direction. The principle itself. And from this principle, we can change into the formula force or area. So it's not given, it's something that you need to understand the concept. OGV. Okay, this is also known. That's mean you need to understand where the force from weight of liquid, weight of liquid displaced. Okay, so the weight of liquid displaced when object immersed in the water or partially immersed in the liquid itself. 
if the uh, object is floating in the on the water surface then the buoyant force is actually equal to the weight of the object so buoyant force here actually has many version so that's why it doesn't give you in the form So buoyant force equal to apparent weight or not the real weight minus apparent weight as well. So that is also the buoyant force. Go back for buoyant force. Go is the density of liquid. G is gravitational acceleration. G is the volume of liquid here. So make sure no problem. Memorize. So how the from the weight of liquid mg right mass of the liquid and gravitational acceleration become weight mass is coming from the density of water so it can so if it's mass we must multiply by rho so it will become rho v g so this is actually the mass rho v g because if you take it to dismiss the place it doesn't matter it still gives you the same answer so make sure that you point your study notes that the formula for Pascal principle and the formula for the ball force are given in the SPM and SP and the FM. So number 50, this cash law in the shorter form, in the simplest form as possible. So what it means that This equation is going to be constant for every gases of the same mass. For every same gas of the same mass. So I need to rework it because it's not same as oxygen and hydrogen. So if you have oxygen and another oxygen at a different condition, if you multiply and divide the What it doesn't tell us is which law for which uh, formula, right? So this is the combined gas law. It's not really uh, useful in terms of the calculation in the question because usually rarely, rarely the SPM is going to give us all the this. Usually you going to the three laws, Boyce's law, Charles law, and Frazier law. But Frazier law for the new slippers is going to be gay Lussac's law. So you already have names here for the new slippers. But for the slippers, it's the law. So P, pressure, V, volume of P, the temperature, absolute temperature must be in Kelvin. Kelvin. The law that we already learned before that, the three laws. So, C. So, what I like that? C here is for Fraser law, C is for Boyce law, C is for Charles law. How are you going to memorize the order? You just need to make a new mnemonic from it. So, for example, we can make PDC sounds like. Pasti boleh cemerlang that's me, that's just law B. B, T. So, on this prime formula, we separate it into respective laws. Pressure law, Boyce law, and Charles law. Pressure law, what is the constant? So, we need to call P and T. That's me, the constant is volume of gas and mass. Boyce law, temperature constant and mass. 
Charles Law means the container doesn't change the shape, it's always like that. The only changes is the temperature that you can see this is at 30 degree and the other container, the same size container, the same shape of container, also um, at different uh, temperature, which is 50 degree. Then you will know exactly that is the pressure law. When to use Boyce law, if the temperature is constant, it means it's conducted in the room temperature, and then you see syringe or piston, something like that, then that must be Boyce law. And the volume is changing. Okay, how about Charles law? Charles law is changing when temperature change. So that's automatically Charles law. You don't need to think about pressure because pressure is constant here. The pressure is going to be the same as atmospheric pressure. That's why we can change the of the uh, container based on the temperature. So again, the temperature must be the common always that we use the absolute and then the final to get the uh, degree Celsius. Okay, number 16, atmospheric pressure at sea level. This is used. So you, so that you look for it. The question asks for it. Usually for the picture, you have bubble or something under the liquid. From that, then need to calculate on the object. So you must include the atmospheric pressure as well as the liquid pressure. So for gases law as well, for Boyce law, you also not need to include the atmospheric pressure in your P. In your P. What else you So both N have atmospheric pressure is open. If this end here connected to the gas, then doesn't include the atmospheric pressure, only this. And then you add the H here. This is rho G H from the from a non So again, if not given the formula list, but usually in SPN is given as the value in the question. So basically, uh, here, 13 until 15. 15 is uh, shared between the pressure and heat because both sometimes use the atmospheric pressure, but pressure of course when you use the atmospheric pressure, heat sometimes need you to use the atmospheric pressure. Okay, number seven here, V equal to F lambda. V here is the velocity. F is the frequency. Lambda is the wavelength. So, it doesn't have any uh, other terms used for lambda other than wavelength. So, you don't need to worry. F here is our frequency. Again, we also have another thing that use F uh, for S. So you need to uh, make sure that you know that this, uh, the differences. So this is the Okay, so let's see. Number 18, wavelength as well. Ax over D is for interference. This is the most uh, hard to memorize formula because you usually A is actually for aperture. The, word, the original word is aperture. The distance between two um, slit, the aperture. It's usually commonly used in camera, the size of the uh, lens opening. Right? So that is the aperture. So in terms of wave here, it's actually the meaning of the distance between two slit. Okay, so X is, X is, X is, X is, X 
consecutive nodal lines or anti nodal lines. So that's mean from bright to bright or dark, dark or loud to loud, soft to soft. So that is X. Here you can capital in the force, the sleep, and the dream. So how do you want to distinguish? You want to distinguish this distinction over here, not the other thing. Big D. Big D means very, very big, very large value of uh, the distance compared to A and X. They in millimeter a is usually in millimeter as well as sometimes cm but in here in meter or cm and usually have the largest value the biggest value of a and x so make sure that you know that this must be the largest value that means it is the distance between sleep and sleep which is the longest one the longest of the two This formula A is a distance, X is also a distance, D is also a distance. So we have meter times meter over meter. If we want to get the entire unit, then the meter can set up. We give the unit of meter for make sure that if you want to use this formula, all of the the same unit. If it's in meter, then you change all to meter, CM2 or CM. Okay, this is the difference of weight. 90 hours it should be in force and energy over time again this will not be in the new syllabus KSSM but who knows it might be up okay but power is going to be used for many many topics other than such as heat he also use energy over time in the calculation as before uh, MC theta ML, ML because PT Q is also equal to PT P is uh, the power time Q is the energy or, or you can say that PT equal to MC theta or PT equal to ML for the uh, full formula using electricity question as well so, yeah, this um, power here are uh, across topics the the formula that can be the original topic 20 and then we can also make a definition for power is the way of energy or of energy and with that same unit, so it can be the same thing. But usually, it is the uh, original definition for power. So number twenty is light. So F here is not frequency, even though light has frequency. F here is the focal length. If it's lenses only. If you learn further in your uh, studies, especially in matrix or university, college level, you, see, you can use this formula for meter as well. For SM level, it's only for lenses. U is for the object, V is for the unit. The, the, the units are constant. Yes. Can be so light for lenses. It can also be used for mirrors, but doesn't uh, really ask in the SPM other than for lenses. This is M here, sometimes for M, but either way, it's just the same thing here. It's not mass. Uh, if it's in small M, it doesn't mean it mass. It's still linear magnification. Image distance over object distance or image size over object size okay so you can use the formula is similar to the mathematics formula the modern max formula for magnification for the enlargement scale factor image over distance
Okay, number 22, refractive index. So, line refractive at the usual symbol for refractive index. Sin i over sin so, i here is for uh, incidence. R is for refractive angle. Incidence angle, refractive angle. But you need to be careful here. I mean the light coming from the vacuum or air. So make sure that you take note of that. Sometimes the uh, angle of the light from the air incidence the eye is the angle coming from the vacuum. So for example, let's do some We have the normal here. This is the incidence angle, and then when it reaches the medium, it becomes slower than towards the normal line. Towards the normal line, so this is the R, and then we have new normal line here, and then this angle over here becomes the new one, and then when it out from the block, it will move past move away from the line so this is the new uh, so we can say this i2 r2 so in order to use the refractive index form and it goes to i r which is the because i over here is coming from air and r here is at the medium so this is correct incident actually coming from the air and the refractor is from the medium for the second part here, this is actually R2 over I2 because R2 is actually um, uh, towards the air, at, at the air, and I2 is in, still inside the medium, even though I2 is actually the incidence angle. So make sure that you know this is that our student doesn't really understand. Right, let's point out that the R here must be angle R angle inside the medium. It is not the usual meaning of incidence angle or refracted angle. But in case uh, if you lucky and uh, the same as incident angle, R is the same as you get the angle as this case over. If you lucky enough, get this uh, direct question. Number 23, this also can be calculated using real death and apparent death. Real death is P, big P, apparent death is small d. For the new case M, they're given the big H and small h. That's the same thing. Okay, make sure same unit first before you use the formula. Real death is actually. is how much from the top to the image see not from the bottom from the top always from the top if liquid your depth must be calculated from the surface not from the bottom so make sure that you know uh, the differences that how to calculate the depth of liquid it's also applicable for force and pressure as well 24 Q equal to I. Now we move on to electricity. Q equal to current. Q equal to current. Equal to current times time. And then for this formula, we can derive current is equal to Q over T. So, definition of current is actually the rate of charge flow in the momentum. V equal to R. This is Ohm's law. V that use it very frequently. This is our best friend here. It's so simple that you can memorize it anyways. So make sure that you know that. And then if you want to use for specific components, then you need to use all the values for that specific uh, component. For example, this one you can use for all the components. But if 
we want to examine only specific path if we have a parallel path then you have to use the value for that path only so v For parallel, always gonna be the same, and V for series gonna add up. So make sure that you know which one same, which one to add up. I for parallel not gonna be the same. It depends on the path. I for series. Number twenty six is equal to be the underrated formula that I encountered as well as far as um, today because not. But this is very important because this set up the definition for contradiction, which is E over Q or D over Q. Basically, they are almost the same definition as well. So, we're going to uh, address that later. So, what it means for this frame is the done to move a charge, one Coulomb charge. If you under the denominator, under the fraction, that's me is must unit. Same as uh, a uh, force, uh, not force, same as the pressure, force over area, that's mean the area must be one unit area. Or the time, rate of change something, time must be at the bottom of the fraction, that time must be one second, one unit. So everything that under Charge something something potential difference must be from one point to another point for EMF. That's mean for the whole circuit. Okay, this is the most under the formula structure that look and probably uh, sometimes useful for you. Twenty seven. This is power for electricity. P equal to I V of I. This is the most um. Uh, stated formula, but there are changes, and then it's not as the solution of the power times I R square over R. So make sure that you memorize it or how you know how derive from the formula. Okay, number twenty-eight. This is for transfer ratio formula. Diameter S O P. And F later is also uh, 10. But basically, like I say in the uh, revision video, this is just a ratio formula. You don't really need to use the formula to answer the question. You just do a mental calculation and then show the calculation neatly in the answer space. But in order to uh, make it uh, more systematic, you can just copy the formula to use. But for paper, uh, you don't need that. You do need to edit. 29, go to MC square. This is radioactivity, only one formula. Uh, and it's equal to mass energy of light square. Don't forget about that. And here, before moving on, S here is secondary, P here primary. Number of turn V is for turn. Okay, number 30 efficiency for transform so power output or power input time 100%. Over what does this formula here? As is equal to DIT here. It's not given because this is coming from the same formula as efficiency. We just said the efficiency to 100%, the and then we can bring one of the uh, denominator or numerator to the left side or right side. And, and the last two things here is actually additional information. Gravitational acceleration is for the universe, and C. Or calculation of light wave or EM Okay, 
other that probably gonna give us the one AMU equal to how many kilograms or one E equal to how many coulomb. So this is as well going to be given in the formula list if not stated in the question, but usually it will be given in the question itself. For the SPML and let's um briefly for the SPM formula. So this is the paper one. I'm going to go to the basis of the paper one. Again, that is the generation that is the SP because this needs to be memorized. And then the usual formula for the linear motion, the more to MA. Gravitational potential energy, the elastic potential energy. So I forget that elastic potential energy. Uh, it has another form of formula other than this one. So we learn that KX. This which is not uh, for both SMS and SPM. So stated that this is the spring constant. The force is directly proportional to the length of extension of the spring. So basically we can replace after with k so it become 1 over kx times it become 1 over kx square. So this is another elastic energy that is not given in the formula list. And so the foot law is also not given in the formula list to memorize it. The density, pressure, pressure, Delta theta, F, Latin heat, and then PVT is the combined law, so pasti boleh cemerlang. So, PT, PV, V, E. E is the MP square, F is V is the F lambda for wave, F is the frequency power, D is the universal power. That's the cross topic, that's the cross motor. It in this is for lenses, the focal length, not frequency. U is the object distance with the uh, image distance. 90 is the most complicated formula for actor or the distance between the two slit. X is the distance between two positive motor lines. D is the largest, the longest one, which is the Cost of the sleep and the spring. This refracting that in our ear doesn't make it much easier to be in the air. In the air, and if there is a death, a death, a few IP, we are on our behavior. Part of all, let me see. Show for the former, again, as a Mr. F and T. The position of transformer. We don't have this formula here. It is coming from this formula at 100% efficiency. I G equal to 10.8 for the meter. C is 0 times 20 to the power of 8 meter per second. If not given in the formula, it must be given in the question. So then here and as well as the one a and u because it will be given in the question. So let's uh, look at the question, the activity question at the end. So we're going to go through answering technique for paper one. Let's now move on to the last to see if it given us the value for the uh, or here you see, even though it's the value at the time, it's here and the AMU here. So you don't need to panic if not given the C value, you can always find it on the formula list. And then the AMU is the property given in the question. So don't panic, you can do it. 
So let's move on to the what are, uh, what are the differences? Okay, so we have this here, here, here. Okay, you still seem That's me for paper one. You need to memorize for paper two. It doesn't need. You don't need. Really and it's the index. So again, there's subtle differences, but either way, you just need to memorize it. If not given, then you need to. This is also not given in the experiment set for both papers. So that's me. Yeah. Memorize it, even though it's given here in SPM paper two. So that is the first difference. So we have the this M, the small M. Again, this is not the mass. This is the linear magnification, same as scale factor in model mass. This is the most complicated formula one. Q I P E B I think we don't see EVQ in paper, right? So let's see briefly at the point. Do we have EVQ? Yeah, no EVQ here as well. So that is the second EVQ. No. The formula is not commonly used, but it's very important and it's better in the text. Sometimes you need to use to derive the potential difference definition or potential difference. The other is the first difference is this one critical angle, total internal reflection. Review uh, some basic stuff about total internal reflection. It only occurs if you met to this condition. The first condition is the uh, light rays must come in from denser medium to less dense medium, from water to air, for example, from glass to air, or from glass to water must be denser to less dense. That is the first condition. The second condition, the incidence angle must be greater than critical angle. So that is the power for efficiency for transformer, EMC squares, and then it given us the 1.66. And yeah, sometimes get that in the question, but in this case, this number three differences. Okay, I think that's all for today. <coughs> Hopefully, you realize some of the details in the formula list, some of the formula that you need to memorize, and other formula that you need to study and and know that it not be will be given in the uh, SPM. So, for example, this is S external, S internal. Know that this is a lot, has a lot of first the formula. I R plus I R, I R, R, and then I equal to over I and many more. I don't want to leave it all. Study it later or watch the revision video. So this one of the is equal to where R power loss of power V square over R T equal to S square R T E equal to T square R T E equal to V R T is all given one half. It's not given for the 
elastic pressure and we're done eh? Yes, cos theta fs cos theta is not given as well. Fs equal f theta, f equal f sine theta, where equal conservation of momentum m1 plus m2 u2 1v1 plus m2 u2 is given. Expression is not given. Versus J. What else? Because if W is M is not good, um, G equal to W over M is not given. Um, elastic potential energy is yes, good. The Pascal principle the of liquid is minus As for light, the refractive index is all given here, except for the critical angle. Probably you need to memorize it. If not, you can go papers. One over n, okay. Linear magnification. The period is t over t. One period is not given here. For wave, uh, reflection, refraction, diffraction, interference, electromagnetic wave. Um, so it's already given. Electricity mostly given. Except for the EMF, power and numerous extra formulas. Mm. What else? Oh yeah, for electricity we also have the formula here, right? So charge for the number charge times fundamental of charge. So probably you need to memorize that. The Over square root two or I P is the square root two for I M S. This is the least uh, popular formula. It's a, probably you don't need to memorize it. Um, uh, all the electronics formula. The one half M V square. The potential E B Q B Q N E N E B probably. I'm not quite remember the the category. The topics of calculator. Uh, what else? The half life, half life, we also uh, doesn't have a formal formula, but usually you can do formula. You can find it on uh, in the success book, but really not important. You just need to divide half half how many times you need it. That's only things that matter for half life. Uh, electronic, yes, the. Beta. beta for transistor over IB and current over this current for transistor as well as this one IB go to IB plus IC. 
IE equal to IB plus IC. More probably IB. Okay, you can check it. Okay, I think uh, electromagnet, yeah, electromagnet doesn't have much formula other than the transformer. Electronics, a lot of um, electronics not here, so make sure that you check all the formula in electronics. Uh, Radio activity is only EMC square, half life is not given because it's just a simple half half half. Okay, I think that's all. Uh, if you have some questions or something that you can point out that I missed, always comment in the comment section or just DM me later. So hopefully that you really some of the important things to take note here for the formula list. You uh, study well in this uh, hard time, and let's uh, see you again in other videos.